we want to continue where we left off in the previous video about the cloud and how to sync your drawings inside Autodesk 360. We opened up the options box and this box was opened by clicking on the online options icon right in here. And notice it gives us this box. Of course, we can open up this options box from multiple locations. This isn't the only thing. But now we want to turn our attention to syncing my settings with the cloud. So notice this option is turned on and it says keep all of my settings synced. And notice from here I can choose which settings are synced by clicking this bar right in here, this button. Here I can choose if I want specific options or files to be in sync and saved. Now what's the purpose for this? Well imagine how often you have to go on the road or perhaps you're going to another a neighboring office and you have to carry a laptop. What if you don't have that laptop available to carry with you? Then all of a sudden, if you're asked to do some design work, you are using someone else's settings for AutoCAD. Well, no more, because now with 2014, we can actually sync your settings in the cloud and then tell AutoCAD, when do you want to use the local settings versus the settings that you have online inside the cloud? And the beauty with Autodesk 360 is that you can always choose to work locally or to work with those settings available on the cloud. It really is going to be up to you. Now let's go ahead and just press the OK to close this box here. And uh, perhaps you didn't have those settings enabled, but let's go show you how we can do that. If I click on Sync My Settings, this option will say, if you stop syncing your custom settings, your online settings will be preserved but no longer updated, which simply means if you stop it, it's not going to continue. Right now, you probably have uh, where it's going to say Start Syncing. So if you click it, it'll now let you uh, sync this. So I'll, I'll, I'll just click on keep syncing my custom so that way it knows. And notice that I can always choose to either use my local settings or use the settings that are available uh, that are online. And then it says your local settings will be discarded. So in other words, it's going to make sure it's going to maintain the most current version of the settings online or locally here. So I'm going to click on right now, just use my local settings for right now. Now AutoCAD has been loaded. It's used my local settings. And from this button right here, you can also then choose which options do you want, which kinds of settings and files do you want to sync uh, between locally and what's available inside uh, the Autodesk 360 environment. So it's a great way of not only backing up and working multiple times with 360 in your drawings, but isn't it about time to also sync your settings? This is what's going to make it very powerful. I promise you, this is something you're going to be using especially if you do a lot of travel and you find yourself not always using your version of AutoCAD with your specific settings. You're going to love this.